Hello everyone, Dan here and welcome back to Dan Plays the Battle of Isaac After Earth. It's time to redeem ourselves. Yes, redeem ourselves. For, or myself, sorry. For forgetting to go to, to Mega Satan on that freaking amazing super chocolatey fudge covered awesome soy milk run. And um, go to Mega Satan this time. So, no worries. This time I shall remember. We are going to Mega Satan. How's everyone doing? Did I'm doing pretty good? Doing pretty good. Yesterday's run was super, super short. And today was a short day. Coincidence? I think not. I'm, I don't know what. I'm just being a little bit random today. I'm doing pretty good. Today I just had to notice that all my... Just, just things do not go my way when it comes to clothes. Because I'm already... I'm pretty tall. And I have freaking big feet. So this is like lots of things that I had to buy... You know, size-wise clothes. I got to buy certain size pants, and like my freaking pants ripped today at work on my knee. Yes, right in the knee. I know what you're trying to say. Oh, hang on, hang on. Before we get started here, let's just go ahead and die. Wait. Yes, we can die out here. Just don't go into the curse room. That'd be hell. We should respawn in the library. Or oh wait, no, we're Lazarus. That's right. We have the Lazzy rags. We just respawn wherever we are. Book of Belial could be worth it, but no, we gotta take Satanic Bible for survivability here. Anyway, yeah, my, my freaking pants ripped at the knee, and today I just went through my closet and just like, man, I've got a lot of stuff just sitting there. I'm not even wearing it, so I just was like, I had to look through there, I had to look through my socks, realize I don't really have any clothes at all. It's funny, because I really don't. I have like no casual clothes, or I really haven't bought any like casual clothes at all outside of you know the two EV shirts that I bought and the Pikachu shirt that I bought and like any shirts that mom has gotten me other than that I don't really buy any casual clothes cause I don't really go out casually you know what I mean it, it's it's kind of sad because I, I used to have just a lot of clothes I would just wear all the time and now it's like nope I still have all the clothes I've had from my past and they're probably all too small so I like I don't even, I don't even like, when I'm around the house, I just wear the same, I guess, I mean, I just had this, like, set of, like, five or ten shirts that are just in the drawer that I just wear around the house, because I don't ever go outside. I know it's kind of pathetic, Dan doesn't go outside, but, you know, soon, soon, maybe I'll have a reason to go outside. I do wish I could go and enjoy more things outside on these nice days, you know, when it's nice and sunny out, but... Half the time, I don't really have anything to do. You know, that's why I'm hoping your know, Pokemon Go comes in. Maybe like when Pokemon Go comes out, I have more reason to go out and take a walk. You know, even though I live in like this really weird neighborhood that I probably wouldn't feel comfortable walking around, um, I'd probably just go into you know, like a park or something and walk around there. Maybe we'll be able to find Pokemon in that game that way. Even even if it's not a game that it's worth committing time to. I definitely see that there was an art or article I was reading about Pokemon Go about how people are worried that crime could erupt over this, like erupt over Pokemon Go, a game that kind of not really enforces but kind of encourages, you know, trading with strangers or battling with strangers, etc. And I can see that. Please hit that tinted rock. Good. Please don't hit me with any bombs. Why, wait, where'd you get spiders from? You don't spawn spiders, pride. I guess that pot spawns spiders. But, um, yeah, there was this article, or someone, I think, posted something about how, like, open PvP and Pokemon Go were, like, at gyms, for example. Since gyms are held at public places, and you have to send your Pokemon there to fight a gym, and I guess you have to actually go somewhere to fight a gym, that you ran into, like, a stranger, and, you know, you battled them for the gym leader position, like, what's stopping them from, like, getting, like, a gamer rage fit, like, you know, most gamers do, and literally just go off and trying to hurt whoever just beat them, you know? And then, and then I guess there are people who are answering that, that answering back at that were people who actually have tested the game. That it's not real-time battling at all. Apparently. Uh, that's just what I heard. It's not, like, real-time about the gyms. You just have to battle of them when you go there. They don't even have to be there to protect the gym. So I don't really know how it works to be honest. It is a scary thought. 
you know, because this is like a game that's pretty wide scale. This is a pretty popular project that, you know, you would think, again, would try to encourage, you know, people to interact with each other a little bit more. Sure, it's going to be aimed at, you know, mostly the kid, teenager, um, age range, just about. But, I mean, it's, it's just a little, little bit of fun you could have with anyone you just say you're just passing by or say you see someone who's walking around doing the same thing you are trying to look for Pokemon. It's just a little bit, of, have a little bit of fun as you pass on by. Not try to start a freaking, you know, fight or nothing. And I, I hope it doesn't get that bad, man. Because it, it would just make me question what the fuck, where, where, where is society going if we can't even... We can't even like have a little fun or in a little like kids game. Come on, come on, guys. And Facebook's already a freaking mess with people like literally posting a negative comment on every video ever on Facebook. Even if it's like most the most heartwarming thing ever, there's always got to be that negative Nancy that comes out of downside to it. Every article, so it doesn't matter what it is. For example, this one article I was reading yesterday where. You know, a cop, you know, fake pulled over, a.k.a. was joking with a little kid, don't take it, with a little kid who was in, like, a little four-wheel, not four-wheeler, but, like, you know, a little, uh, we call those things. The little kid, like, drive around Jeeps, like, you know, a little, you guys know what I mean. Anyway, long story short, the cop was playing around and pulled her over and said she was late to a meeting and gave her a fake ticket. And, you know, it was a heartwarming thing to see on, on Facebook. Of course. And then people were, like, joining in, you know, showing their kid pictures. Showing that, um, I think there was one picture of this, um, the same girl in, like, an actual car. But n no keys in the car or anything. Just in the front seat of the car behind the wheel. Just, like, playing around. It was a cute picture. And yet there are people saying... Who, who the heck would leave their kid in a car with the keys and mission blah, blah 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 like come on people it's just a cute picture like you guys don't have to be so serious all the time and it's kind of ironic because me myself being somewhat of a serious person sometimes I, although I know when to joke around but it's kind of sad when literally every comment or every video ever just has to have some sort of negativity behind it I don't really understand why people can't just let kids be kids. This is kind of why, you know, the generations, you know, seemingly won't get better if, you know, the adults of the current, like, our current adults or current, whatever you want to put it, want to just, like, keep not letting kids have their fun, keep spreading their negative thoughts about everything, and keep making things seem much worse than they already are. Oh, uh, I don't have a bomb. Oh, now I have a bomb. We got Immaculate Conception. That's pretty good. Like, one, one of the things I was watching in this one video that said, you know, notice how kids aren't born racist at all. You know, that kids aren't racist at all. You, know, you see two babies, they interact with each other. It doesn't matter what race either one of the babies are. They're just going to get along just fine. But later on when they grow up, they're going to get all these thoughts because, you know, their parents are the ones, or the adults are the ones that are feeding them all these thoughts, you know? Sure, you should teach your kids some things, but don't teach your kids, like, super negative thoughts about people that don't make any kind of sense at all. Come on. Just grow up and, you know, learn to accept people. And I mean, not everyone is the same. You know, sure, there are some bad eggs, but that doesn't mean everybody is a bad egg. But, you know, I'm not going to get on this, on this, um, soapbox for long. Because I can go on it, like I said, for a while. Just long story short, pe people post negative things on everything. Even here on YouTube. Like, it could be a pretty good video, and there's always someone who... So I was going to be at one person who's like, oh, this sucks. This blah, blah, blah is better. Or, oh, this sucks, blah, blah, blah. Which is kind of how a couple of big YouTubers like Markiplier were, like, posting things about how... YouTube has changed, and I, I can agree with that, you know, whether they're talking about how, you know, there are people, you know, people's main goal on YouTube is, you know, to have fun and grow their channels, but of course, when you grow your channel, you're of course going to have people come to support you, but then that means if someone else is in the same mindset as you, making the same type of videos, 
you're of course going to want to have to compete with that. And of course that would mean your fan base is going to uh, kind of semi-compete with that as well. And you don't want people to just go give other people a hell of a, t a hell of a bad time just because they're making the same type of content. Which is where like you see say two people upload a cover the exact same song and they're and they're exactly you know they're both really really great covers and one person just so happens to be like 50 times popular than the, than the second person you're gonna get people from the first person's videos who are a fan of the first person but not a fan of the second person just shit talking the second person for no reason even though it's just a great it's just an innocent video with the cover and it's just as good it's like I don't, I don't understand people sometimes I really don't you're always gonna have the naysayers. You're always gonna have the haters. You know, it's unfortunate that we even have to put up with haters, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. Haters will always be haters, no matter what. You always have the negative Nancys, etc., etc. Anyway, now that I've got that out of my system, let's talk about this run that is um. Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, where are the spiders at? There we go. Let's talk about this run right now. Uh, it's okay. We have one key piece out of two. We got Guppy's tail with no um, keys, which is going to be a downside for us, seeing as we're getting a lot of golden chests with no real way to open them. There's a lot of ways out, though. Master of Unlocking as a trinket would be awesome. Uh, getting skeleton key from a secret room that I've not actually been looking for would be awesome. Uh, getting a golden key on any floor would be awesome. Or, or, uh, last tip, um, becoming guppy just from sheer chance would be awesome. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna need to get the second key piece early so we can maybe start getting deals with the devil again. Don't have to worry about worrying about what deals with the angel are gonna give us. Not that deals with the angel are bad, but they most definitely aren't that great half the time. Though the times when they do give you items, seemingly they've been a lot better as of late. I haven't seen a holy water or dead sea scrolls in the angel room for a long time. Um, not to try and jinx it. Oh god, it's Champion Pete. I'm gonna use this Algus run. Try to hold him onto it. I should have held on to it longer since we have a lot of HP. These black cards would help, but we am trying to get through this without losing much health. I have to say, Rubble Baby, although not super powerful, is holding it down a little bit. He's doing as best as he can. Give us a little bit of a damage boost every other shot or so. I'm a little bit worried. If I have to say, there's our second angel room. We still have bombs. We got the cancer trinket. Okay, things are looking. Oh, we've already been in here. That was the same angel room. Oh well, shoot! I thought it was gonna be a second one. Hmm. We're going really slow as well, as you can tell. That cancer trinket's a start. Can we can we lock it down even more though? We need damage or piercing. I feel like piercing would be a happy medium here. I would not mind having a high fire rate with piercing. Or, do you want to just give me more tears upgrade so we can get our fire rate up through the freaking roof? That's good too. Either way, I'm happy with this run so far. It's just a little bit less powerful than to be desired. But, um, it's okay. We ain't got to be super powerful every time. We don't got to run over this game every time. I mean, of course, if I did, that would mean I've been the extremely luckiest person ever. Which just makes me realize, wow, I'm really lucky in this game. But when it comes to IRL, I'm just extremely unlucky. But, you know, sometimes I can't help that. I can't help the fact that all my luck gets used up in the game. Gotta admit though, like every challenge run we've did on here on this channel so far has had a bit of luck involved. Except the ones that are just, you know, straight up a, a freaking face roll from the very beginning. Cough, slow roll, cough. Dan, you're actually supposed to cough when you say cough instead of coughing. Shut up. You don't tell me how to say cough. 
I will cough when I want to. So I, I was kind of wondering, how the heck do I unlock the challenge number whatever? The glass cannon challenge is still locked. I don't know why it's still locked. I thought you get that from beating Demo Man, and I, I kind of forget what challenge unlocks that challenge. I know, I know you, you get that challenge unlocked as soon as you get Epic Fetus unlocked, which may come from Purist. I think maybe you get Epic Fetus from Purist. That would make more sense. Get the almost strongest item in the game from from the purest challenge which is by far maybe the, the hardest challenge in the game before or after birth well it, 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 I, I want to say it's not even that hard in rebirth compared to the old old purest challenge and it's kind of sad that it has to be that way but it is reason being that the new purest challenge stops at mom or stops at mom's heart, whereas, you know, the old purist takes you, makes you have to fully complete the game. Or at least makes you go to Shoal, I'm pretty sure. Which is basically completing the game in the, the other way since, but either way. Purist was definitely a letdown in Rebirth. Not that, not that it's still not difficult, because it still depends on you basically getting that first deal with the devil or getting boned or your or depending on your uh what's the word i'm looking for boss room luck you can get carried by that as well or your shop luck even you know anything but item rooms but mainly the devil deals as i went on a discussion before devil deals just seem to affect this game way too much not that it's a bad thing but a lot of times you just get that devil deal and just your cares go away. I don't know which episode it was I was talking about how devil deals just kind of not really are unbalanced, so to say, but they, they really are. I'm sure it comes down to RNG after earning one, but at the same time, it's like... There's only so much you can do before RNG is not that much of a factor when it comes to devil deals and then it all comes down to just not taking damage which I guess if you don't take damage on a whole floor and a boss room maybe you deserve something really really powerful but I don't know. I don't know man. Like I said it just seems like angel rooms are just less useful. Unless you're going for Mega Satan. That's the only time Angel Rooms are ever useful. Or you're so powerful that you just want to go for Angel Rooms for no reason. Sure, the Angel Rooms have the best items in the game in them. But Devil Deals do too, and they're a lot easier to come by. Not saying that, you know, Godhead Sacred Heart should be showing up every single run. That you go to an Angel Room, but... I don't know. You know, like, the balance... The... the reliability on devil deals versus angel rooms you you rarely see those triple red chest devil deals that you know just you're like all right at least when you get triple red chest in the devil deal you still have a chance to get something versus angel rooms you just get three spirit hearts or two eternal hearts or even one eternal heart and nothing else you're just like what the hell what am I supposed to do with that Even the reliability, even even when a devil room, you know, fails to pad with items, it's still a useful devil room. Or is it like I said with an angel room, like this one for example, that just gave me one HP. What the hell is one HP gonna help me do? Say, say a devil deal just screwed me over and I'm about to get an angel room required because I don't have any way to boost my devil deal chance. Oh boy, I need something really good for this age run. It gives me one HP. I have no damage. What I'm gonna do? I'm dead. <laughs> Not that it always goes like that, but I guess you get to be a good Isaac player. You got to make the worst, the best out of a worst. Wait, the best out of a bad situation, which definitely means to you know just play better. You know, play the best you can. Use all your advantages properly, and you'll be fine. But. Like I said, there's only so much you can do, man. There's only so much you can do. Before just RNG decides you're just gonna die. I can remember, specifically remember my worst run ever. It was literally the Maggie run where I had base damage the entire time. 
and the best thing I could do was take base damage the whole game nothing else no benefits whatsoever I think I was just getting active item after active item after active item use the best uh, to my ability to stay alive as long as I can no devil deals no amount of devil deals or angel rooms were helping me at all just it, it was terrible I, ma I managed to make it to Isaac before I just I got killed because I can't do anything on base damage I can't beat Isaac on base damage I think this may have been still early in the game when I wasn't confident at fighting Isaac it's hard to get past the the middle phase of Isaac when you have no damage those angel fetuses are no freaking joke it's kind of like beating the you know dying to the tread knot in Gungeon when you have no weapons good for killing the crowd killing the ads ads ruin all boss fights man no matter what game you're playing ads are annoying <laughs> if you can't kill ads you're just shit out of luck because ads stack up it just feels weird saying ads when you're not playing like an MMO it sounds so geeky when I say ads not that it's a bad thing to feel geeky but I definitely feel it feels out of place to say ads in the game like Isaac or Gungeon but I mean in Gungeon it makes sense in Isaac not much so just like you know I got more enemies whatever but same time it, it feels a little bit weird but anyway now that I've gotten all my soapboxes out of the way today's day was fine you know, short four hour shift nothing really happened I was on the dead side of the store long story short it was a pretty short day cursed eye is ass I don't want it restock is ass I mean it's not ass but um it's a little bit late for restock so I'm not actually gonna take restock the HP is a little bit out of hand have we already been to the dev room on this floor or angel room on this floor we did right yeah we got teleported there Ugh. Or was that last floor? I don't even remember. It had to be this floor. Oh, was it quadruple Gertie J? Oh no, double Gertie J. Like, oh god. I'm not ready. Please. I don't know if I'm still ready for this. Especially champion Gertie J. Good thing they only deal a half heart of damage. Eh. We could lose a few black hearts on this room. I, it really wouldn't matter. In fact, it would help me out. Oh man. Anyway, nowadays I just wonder you know, what I'm gonna play after Paper Mario and XD or Pokemon XD are done. I don't really have any more games planned aside from like a bunch of retro games I wanna play. Okay, the HP is really getting out of hand. Holy crap. I have seven red hearts. And we're still on the crop. Screw you. We're still on the Cropolis. What is this? This is one of those runs, remember the, the necropolis rule, man, the game will call you out and say, hey, heard you deserve some necropolis when the game knows you're struggling. Fuck these. Mask of infamy. Still hate them. Always have, always will. Not that we're struggling. We're not struggling too hard. It's just our damage is not getting there. Our fire rates there are just our damage. There's a lot less to be desired. We have one guppy item. Just we need more stuff. We need uh dead onion. Dead okay, dead eye. That, that's half of it. If I had to choose between dead onion and dead eye, I think dead eye would, would sell it for me. This does allow our fire rate to do some more damage without actively give okay. I think we take blow up our donation machine, get like a higher devil deal chance, I think, from blowing up that guy. I think I take blue candle and say thank you satanic bible for giving me all the HP you have I think we're done here and then we, we just take this and we just go we run as far away as possible and we say just thank you for all you've done we're Audi. it's red mom like I said it's red mom red mom seems to be a lot slower for some reason oh you you bastard I wasn't expecting that. Okay I, okay, I was not. Oh God! I was trying to get her to stomp that, stomp that tinder drop for me. It was not a good decision on my end. 
Now ideally right here, the next pick that we would need is just like maybe one more tier upgrade and then we will be sitting pretty from a cancer and cancer enhanced fire rate. Or just give me like death touch or any type of piercing, I'd be good to go. Up to you. Oh yeah! Perfect! I'll take them both! That's exactly what I was talking about. Now I kinda wish I kept Satanic Bible, but at the same time, who cares? We have Piercing Deadeye, which may not be great because I think we lose the damage bonus from when a shot hits the ground, even if it pierces the target, but hey. We can test that right now. I mean, or it just can stay enhanced forever. Spirit of the Night would have been a better flying ability, personally. The the Spectral would have been nice, but I'm not going to complain, but we just got, you know, one of the better deals that I asked for. Two days in a row, by the way. Two ro oh, oh, hang on. Okay. But just because we've got that doesn't mean we can start taking damage. We're not a Satanic Bible anymore. Our survivability has dropped to an all-time low of, um near zero we should be careful oh god are we on freaking utero again okay may maybe it wasn't wise to take all the all the devil deals there sometimes sometimes you gotta not be greedy Dan but sometimes you do have to be greedy in order to keep yourself sharp but yesterday I will admit greediness was my downfall in a league game when I tried to freaking take um, a jungle camp at level 1 when I'm not even the jungler. <laughs> and then, okay. There's a little bit late for that. I admire your... Okay, what, what's our fire rate without cancer, by the way? It must go that really, really low. I, I have to admit. I'm kind of attached to the fire rate. The master of unlocking when we have Guppy's tail is very juicy. If we get some golden chests on this golden chance, golden chests on this floor, I will come back for it. The chaos card allows us to beat Mega Satan in one shot. Awesome. Uh oh, take that. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't know if that stopped them any. The chaos card just allows us to do many things. All we gotta do is survive, personally. If we survive, everything's cool. Yeah, it would have been ideal, you know, since if I had known Death's Touch would have been in the Devil Deal, I would have kept Satanic Bible, because I am getting tagged way too much. Way, way, way too much than I like. Personally, that's my own fault, because I tend to get a little bit lazy when it comes to being super powerful in this game. But I, I can't blame it on laziness. This is just bad play. I'm a little bit too relaxed right now. Don't worry, guys. We'll kick it back up a notch soon. Just don't waste the chaos card. And if you need to kill a boss, just, you know, if you're getting really low on the old HP and you can't kill a boss all that fast, just, uh, you know, check the chaos card in their face. Is the chaos card a real thing? It looks like a Magic the Gathering card to me. I thought Chaos was just like a land of all colors. I don't really know if that's true or not. I'm, Cause I'm kinda curious what the Chaos card is a reference to, or of. And if people actually throw it in people's faces. We have no syringes, so X treatment is a big no-no, and I will be leaving. Definitely be leaving X treatment behind. Unless we get in spun, I don't plan on picking up that item anytime soon. The guppy's head gives us our second guppy item. Do we take that over blue candle? Uh, I guess we take guppy's head. I might regret this. We have all floor to decide whether we want to keep it or not. So which is more useful, the flies or the candle? The flies are the reusable candle. I honestly want to say the reusable candle, but... Are we going to reroll it all? No, we're going to reroll the pedestals on the floor, so we got to make a choice now. The candle or the fly? Yeah, I'm going to freaking take the, the 
candle. I'm not gonna throw that away. Blue candle is clearly a superior, superior item there. Regardless of what I think. You, sir, are not getting any of my money. I don't trust you. You have buttons. Buttons are untrustable in this game. As much as I must push them. Oh my god. Okay, guys, guys, come on. I understand you want to dig a lot, but y'all need y'all need to chill. Just chill, just a little. Oh, there's a freaking even a. It's a doppelganger in this room too. This is not a doppelganger room layout. What is this? We do not want to chaos card this boss. Oh god. I was actually getting worried that Blue Candle didn't block shots anymore. Because it hasn't been doing so today. Last devil deal is Crampo. Super ideal lump of coal would be right now. No, no you don't. Not today. Good. Got Crampo's his head. That is still not as good. As much as I would like to believe it is. Alright. Let's not leave yet. Because there's still some plays we can do on this floor. If we find... A curse room. Or a, sec or a secret room at that matter. Okay, but that's another... Oh, hold up. Let's take that. Is this better? No, we don't have spectral shots. So a lot of our hits are going to be bad. But... Who can pass that up? I'm just gonna keep opening golden chests apparently because I have no fucking limit on what I can do at this point. That's pretty beautiful to look at. And I think it, it shoots at our current dead eye level, so that's worth it. And we'll get double rerolls as well. Like I said, if we can find a curse room and there's an item inside, it's highly likely we'll become guppy on this floor as well. And becoming guppy would be just delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Of course, on some rooms, Guppy's or Tammy's head would be, um, unideal to use. There's two, aren't there? Yep. It's always two. Alright, we're gonna have to pay to go in there. Obviously, but... Could be worth. What's well, kinda worth? We got two spear arts. She didn't exactly have to pay as hard. Okay. I'd, I'd like to see... Really enough, I'd really like to see Ouija board, just so we don't get screwed over on the next floor. And Magic Mushroom or Cricket's Head. Uh... Book of Sin? Oh no, they're both gonna be books, aren't they? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, Pyro! I mean, Pyro's pretty good! We have 99 sticky bombs. Not the greatest, but not the worst pickup we could have gotten. At least we have the key. We have a chaos card, so we don't really have to worry about killing Mega Zayton, more or less just getting to him. Yeah, we're not opening any more golden chests. It's been fun opening golden chests, wondering what's inside. See the chest around us, this world's a perfect guide. Really hidden reference there. That's not even the, the correct words to it, but like you know that reference. Plus 500 to you. That that's it, it's not even worded correctly, but it's a, it's pretty much the same word wording of it. Anyway, before I get too distracted on that, yeah, it's been fun opening golden chests, but um, we need some for the next chest, the actual chest. So we're gonna need to hold up. Wait a minute. It's just stop spinning keys. Gotta admit though, probably would have been. Yeah, wait, wait to make me break my own rule game by spawning a chest right on top of me. Who would have expected that, huh? Who the fuck would have expected that? <laughs> uh oh. Give my spider payouts, please. One spot oh, the two spiders from Gertie J. I think Gertie J is worth more spiders than that. 
Would have been worth it to take Master of Unlocking. I did ask for it after all. But we don't really, we didn't really need Cancer on this run, to be completely honest. Our fire rate's not high enough to really super benefit from Cancer at all. Hate to say it. And we're getting so many golden chests, it makes me regret not being able to open any of them. Okay. One black heart in total. Just thinking, I know one of these has Cricket's head in it. I'm just a little bit salty that I, I kind of don't want to open them. At the same time, I do want to open them. But then at the same time, like we don't really need Cricket's head right now. We're already steamrolling this hard enough. Though not in the normal sense of like just one-shotting everything. Just in the sense that we don't need anything else. I like the way this run turned out. Deadeye was the turning point on this run. Definitely. Without Deadeye, we would have been pretty boned. To be completely honest. Would have been fucked. Would have been fucked. So bad. Without Deadeye. So let's all give Deadeye a good round of applause. I did thank you. For what you've done. Deadeye, you're awesome. Now it's time... For the test. There is no test here. Ow. Oh, we have plenty more life than that. That doesn't mean go get hit, Dan. So I know you like to do that on this fight. You like to just get hit 100 bajillion times for no reason on this fight. None of that. None of that at all. We'll not be having none of this. I gotta admit, our damage is really not that good. On Isaac, anyway. Probably because our range is not that good, either. Because he's managing to start shooting back in the middle of every teleport. Which is usually what he doesn't do if we have enough damage to, to do to him before he teleports. But it's okay. At this point, just give me swim milk. You know when you give me swim milk again, do it. I really can't stop you at this point. Ares, Tech 10, Tech X, sorry, whatever, um, Skinny Eye Mushroom, well, this basically makes it so much better. I think we got another tier to lay down there as well. Yeah, I think this will do it. Yeah, we can tap shoot this. I think this will do it. <laughs> yeah, I think this, this will do it. Empress card up. Go ahead and save our... Save our Chaos card for the right phase, and yeah, this will do it. This will do it. That Tech 10. Holy shit. Bruh. Do you even know about Tech 10 when you have Cancer and so many tier delay downs and tears ups? Holy shit. Which we had no tears ups. We even got like 9,000 tears ups all at once. Do you even know about the power of tap shooting Tech 10? I can literally tap shoot it. I've never been able to tap shoot Tech 10 before. This is insane. I don't even need to use the Chaos card. You just use the Chaos card. I'll use it anyway, but I mean, I don't need to. I'm a I missed. I fucking missed the Chaos card. Who does that? How do you miss on Mega Satan? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyway. Might as well use it regardless. That was insane. Wow. We got dripping, baby. Ew. And long baby. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the run today. If you did, please leave a like and this out a ton and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because there'll always be more Isaac every single day. Thank you for your time, thank you for support this watching. I'll see you guys next time. With the next Isaac run. See you then.